Well, amid concerns over a so-called triple demic, which is, as we've told you before, the intersection of COVID-19, influenza, and RSV, doctors are urging folks to do all that they can to stay healthy and also ease the hospital burden. And we know some of that might involve testing for COVID-19 in order to avoid spreading it to others. But with yet another COVID variant taking over as dominant right now, we are wondering if the at-home tests still detect what is circulating in the population right now. So we set out to verify our sources. First and foremost are the CDC, the FDA and Dr. Carrie Altoff, who's an associate professor with Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. So at this point, it is important to remind you of what the dominant strains are. And right now that is BQ1 and BQ1.1. Those are the dominant strains we're seeing right now. And if you have old COVID tests from earlier in the pandemic, you obviously want to check their expiration dates first. By the way, we do have an article on our website where you can kind of see how long past the date on your label you can use those kits. So otherwise, assuming that those tests aren't expired, we can say this should detect the latest version of COVID, although the FDA says research shows there could be reduced sensitivity to Omicron. Take a listen. It is wise to wait another 24 to 48 hours and take another test and ensure that one is negative as well to be sure that you do not have COVID. So we can verify, yes, the at home COVID tests that we have are still detecting what is dominantly circulating in the population, but some people should be testing multiple times if they get a negative result. That said, doctors say if you get a negative result, but you have some sort of respiratory symptoms, you obviously still have something something you probably should stay home with to avoid spreading to others.